30 years of European, 30 years of the EU single market, and in essence, we're still in the same place. European's purpose and European's work is as critical today as it was 30 years ago. We need to go back to that time and also be aware that we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the EU internal market. Uh, at that time, uh, that was seen as the cornerstone of the EU project. But what we saw in the sphere of packaging and packaging waste was that member states were going in all different directions, basically deciding on their own what was packaging and what was not packaging, how to deal with packaging waste, potentially creating a huge financial and operational burden, a trade barrier even, for industry. Uh, and that is where several national organizations that were dealing with packaging and the environment came together to found European uh, and basically create a collective body for the packaging value chain to talk to the European Commission and ultimately find a way to create more harmonization across the EU member states. And this is how European came together, but it's equally how the first Packaging and Packaging Waste Directive came together. The European Secretariat, in three words, high quality people, very capable and purpose-driven. They make the difference for the packaging supply chain in Brussels. What I think is really taking us forward at European is the fact that we can rely on a very strong team. We have a very engaged membership uh, and a number of partners and stakeholders that are actually coming along on this journey together with us. 30 years have passed, but it's still very exciting. Clearly, packaging is center stage of the journey towards a circular economy. It's very clear that we are an instrumental part of achieving that transition because packaging really is no longer something that can be considered as waste, but it's a valuable resource. And the young people are a key element of this process. If you ask young people what the single market is, probably unlike my generation that uh, lived through that change and we got to understand the importance of removing these barriers, the importance of traveling uh, across the European continent like you know, our parents never experienced before. These are all taken for granted today, but we should not forget that you know, this could also disappear if we don't continue to invest in removing the barriers, removing the boundaries, uh, and continue to build together across Europe.